Incoming customer detected. Keep your eyes open, boys. We need to have a serious talk! Hello my fellow Wastelanders, welcome once again to Fallout 76, this is Blind Gamer Plays. my name is Ira and I want to welcome you guys once again to another weapon showcase. Today we are going to be doing a vampire minigun. I don't have any secondary or tertiary effects on this one, but the, um, the weapon itself, wow, I think is a, a really nice one. So uh, we're going to do our best to see what we can kill and uh have some fun with it so here is the build that i'm currently using it is kind of a just your standard heavy build um i do have a couple of quality of life sort of things that are in there for me um but yeah it's a overall good build i think and uh one that's worthwhile using uh the weapon right now is doing 41 points of damage per shot which is respectable for this kind of a weapon and as you can see i do have the accelerated barrel on the gunner sight and the shredder just to have uh, the extras, you know, uh, and we'll see what this weapon can do. Let's take a look at some super mutants, shall we? Okay, we are over here with the super mutants at West Tech, and we're going to see what we can get to happen. <laughs> Bear in mind, I am blind, um, so I'm not the best outside of vats, but we'll give it a shot. Yep, I think you're going to have uh, some trouble with that. Boom. So it's doing a lot of damage, you know, it's it's not fantastic. I've seen a lot better, of course, on the other things. Uh, but as you can see, we're not dying <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. No, I don't want to leave West Tech. I'm having too much fun with you guys. I didn't realize he was legendary out of cup fire in the end, but that's okay. There we go. And I mean, as you can see, we are not diminishing in health really at all. No, I think you're going to have the trouble with uh, leaving alive or not there, dude. Okay, well, let me see what this guy had as far as his uh, legendary loot goes. Uh, bloodied officer sword. It's crap. <laughs> Still sellable, but crap. So, yeah. Let's go around the back and see what we can find over there. With a weapon that's like this, you know, as long as you can keep firing and as long as you can keep hitting, you're not going to die. That's just, that's the point of this kind of a weapon. You're just not going to die no matter what they throw at you. And, I mean, the, the damage that it does, you know, it's, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. It's, um, there we go. It's not bad. It takes them down. And, um, you know, with something like this... I think if you wanted to kind of play the meta a little bit, let me let me kill this guy off here. I think if you wanted to play the meta a little bit and um, toy with the uh, doing like a combo of a bloody build with this, you're going to be that much more effective. And we can we can try that out and see what happens with that. And I do think you'll see that the um, the fun factor definitely improves. But there is something to be said for doing the full health build with this too. So let me do that. Let me let me go ahead and get into bloodied mode and we'll see what this can do against some other creatures. Okay, so just for the giggles of it, I put myself into uh, bloodied mode and we'll load and unload the weapon there because I had to hop in and out of the power armor so just in case it wants to mess around with us you know and as you can see it's definitely doing a lot more damage overall 
Um, so, yeah, let's get everybody's attention here and see what we can do. Hello, Mr. Scorch Beast. Have everybody come and say hi. How's your mom and them? So about 40 damage. Once adrenaline has kicked in, just a tad. So there is definitely something to be said about using this kind of a weapon as a bloodied uh, build, especially if you're doing tank, you know what I mean? With the power armor and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't expect we're going to die here, you know? I just don't think they're going to be able to do it. As long as I can hit. I mean, that's the main thing. You know, you got to keep hitting in some way. Trying to see if maybe I can get him to come land. It's pissed at me. We're definitely doing more damage now, though. Come on, big guy. Come over here and land. I'd love that. I would just love that. Doing these weapon spotlights, I've noticed these Scorch Beasts are so uncooperative as far as uh, coming in and going for a random or anything like that. They've just been a royal pain in the butt. Oh, hello. What you got over here? There we go. The main reason why I don't tend to like using miniguns and gatling lasers and that kind of thing is because of the wind up time. It's it's um it's annoying, you know. <laughs> but of course, once you start firing the damage is out you know <laughs> and I get it they have to nerf it in some kind of way you know that can make it a little bit uh, special so I don't think he is going to come in for a landing at all we'll just have to tear him up in the sky that's okay we can do that as long as it makes it so that I can see there we go okay so, not bad. Not bad. I mean, it could have been better, but obviously with him not landing and with us missing a lot, it is what it is, right? So, let's move on to a different place. Way down upon the Swanee Lakeside. Hello, Mr. Swan. How you doing? Wake up. Come say hi. running today. I usually run. He was very upset with us. And we died in one hit. <laughs> but of course, you know, that's going to happen. Um, but that's good. You know, that shows that, that this thing is not like the ultimate most powerful thing in the world, right? You do have to still be very, very careful. We'll get back to him. Swan was not playing around today. He did not want to have any part of this. But for science, you got to love it. Maybe he just didn't like my singing. It could be that. I don't usually die to Swan. Maybe it's just he didn't like our singing. All right, Mr. Swan. <laughs> Let's try it again. You're about dead anyway. Come on. Come closer. Oh no, he didn't pop his health. Okay. Okay. Well, that works. There we go. And as you can see, it's right, right back. There we go. There we go. Alright, so, again, as you can see, you know, something that's like this, where it hits so much in one hit, you're going to have issues, you know, no matter what weapon you're using. He he pumps out a lot of damage. 
It's just the nature of SWAT. So let's go on and see what else we can do. Okay, so we're going to see what we can do on the Meyer Lurks here. Again, I don't expect there's going to be any issues at all. Um, we're still over here in the bloodied mode, so, you know. Come on, guys. Wake up. Oh, we got another guy coming paying attention over there. All right. You wanted to sneak up there. Okay. There's one. Back in nerd rage over and over. <laughs> Because, of course, we popped out of Nerd Rage because of the uh, the death, you know, but that's okay. Come on. Done. Right back up to where we were. Anybody else over here? the most damage when you try to snipe, but that's okay. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. He's still hiding over here. Come on, guy. Come on. Where you at? Ah, forget it. <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, so let's see if the queen wants to say hi today. Come on, Miss Queen. Go ahead and fill ourselves back up again there. A little hard to see. So something like this is really good when when the uh, this poison damage thing is there. You know what I mean? Because she puts out a lot of damage poison. Wise. And as, again, as long as we can keep firing without that big melee hit coming along, you know. I mean, until that hit happened. The poison was literally doing nothing to us. So, again, nature of dealing with the really high potency damage per hit creatures like this, you're you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you're in bloodied mode and not sneaking. I mean, really, that's that's what it comes down to. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it, right? Nature of the nature of the problem. So, all right. So that's that one. Let's let's see where did the queen go? Um, or did I end up getting her? No, there she is. Okay, she's over saying hi to those guys. Come on. Yeah, there you go. We're over here. And there we go. <laughs> that was my fault. I stopped firing. Okay, so just for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and get out of the so deep uh, health damage going on. Um, I'll just go ahead and use a uh, rat away here real quick. Yeah, good enough. Diluted is fine. So um, this will bring us back up a little bit, and we shouldn't get like one shot by the uh, by the melee hit that she does. Of course, we're doing a little less damage now, but that's okay. So decent. There you go. As you can see now, we've got just enough health that it covers that melee hit. And we're still doing about the same amount of damage overall, you know? Overall. A little less, a little less per hit. But overall about the same amount of damage. Alright, so let's go back to the, the camp and we'll do some conclusions here. Okay, so in conclusion, you know, risk versus reward is a thing. Obviously, if you go into bloodied mode with this and you're going against the things that are very hard hitting, very hard hitting, regardless of whether you're in power armor or not, you know, most of those things can like take your health down to, ha to half within one hit if you're not careful. Um, and if you get really unlucky, they can kill you in one shot, you know, so... Um, 
it's just kind of the nature of the risk versus reward with this game that if you go into bloodied mode, you're going to take that chance. Right. But in either case, the um, the vampire effect on a fast firing weapon just can't be touched, really. I mean, it, unless you're dealing with that kind of a situation, as long as you can fire a bullet and keep that triggered down and keep hitting something, you're just not going to die. OK, so um, and, and again, you saw with full health. Um, or even going back up to just about a third health, um, she wasn't able to kill us. It, she didn't get that one shot thing happening. Um, so, you know, good, good opportunity for us to take a look at what this kind of, a, a an affix can do. Um, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this too. If you did make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. We keep coming out with new things every day. I'd love for you guys to become a part of the community. Make sure you hit that notification bell to get told when we come out with a new video until next time, keep safe out there, have fun. And thank you so much as always for watching. We'll talk to you again later. Hello, Rose. I saw you taking a little detour out there to talk to that overseer of yours. This land is his land, and none else are welcome. Enemy sighted! Guys, they're here! Okay. Oh, I don't know. Where'd you come from? <laughs>